What's really different about the Marist online courses is that they are 100% designed, created, edited, upgraded, reformulated, rethought through by faculty. Our courses are not commodities. They're not standardized so much that there's a script to follow. We have a much more kind of customized development process that really allows the instructors' insights, experiences to shine through in the course. And I don't think you get that with all online programs. Our faculty develop our courses. We don't buy a course packet, upload it, and have somebody deliver it to you. We write it and we rewrite it. And we interact all the time with uh, the successes and the weaknesses of any course and we revise it. We are very much invested in it. And you will see that our courses reflect the expertise of our faculty. These are people who work, who have families, who for some reason had to interrupt their educations and now they have a way to help themselves help themselves. We're all jugglers. Um, like my students, I have, I have children, other things that I have to do. They have other career obligations, other family obligations, other things that they're involved in. So this is an environment that facilitates that. There is no typical workday for me. Anything could happen at any time. It's one of the charms and um, cons of my job. North Dakota, um, I was a nuclear weapons officer. My time was comprised of working in a silo monitoring intercontinental ballistic missiles. I've been out of school for quite a number of years, so I really didn't know uh, what to expect. I have three kids, uh, six, eight, and nine. I coach two soccer teams. I still play golf. I'm in the Coast Guard Reserve. I was Reserves. a single mom. I was coming from Mexico. Um, I was looking for a school that could offer flexibility in the program. Where I do my schoolwork depends where I go. Um, it is that mobile. I've logged into chats, submitted assignments in places as diverse as Austria, Slovakia, Russia. We were on vacation and um, one year I'm doing a posting from an internet cafe in Europe and another year I'm doing a posting from uh, Aruba. I was able to take the course underground. Uh, we were fortunate enough to have internet access and, and I had access to the site and was able to log on at any hour of the day. You probably had me in the office about 500 hours more than somebody that had to do it in a bricks and mortar environment. Um, it is a different experience. Uh, I think it's sometimes a more powerful one even than learning in the classroom, but it is different. So there's no hiding online and everybody has to participate and if they're not, you know it and they're required to. So that means that you can actually have a deeper learning experience. Learning is really a social activity that, you know, uh, simply looking at information and memorizing it doesn't really result in the type of learning that we're looking for for you know the 21st century workforce. Here the experience was for me much richer. It is more engaging. There are some activities that you have to participate almost every day and your participation is seeing there because your name appears every time you put a comment or you put a question or you put your homework there. It's very interactive. You would take the class and Every day was dynamic. It wasn't just about an assignment. It was about you posting something and waiting for feedback from somebody else. Here you had weekly engagement with nearly everyone in the class. You can go to bricks and mortar and keep your mouth shut the whole time. And you're not judged on it. You're, you, you, don't, you may not learn as much. You may not have been engaged, but it doesn't matter because it's, you simply showed up. On the online experience, simply showing up just doesn't count. When I was evaluating online, certainly one of the questions was going to be, well, how am, I, how am I going to interact with the teacher? How am I going to interact with my other students? How am I going to learn? Communicating with my professors, I felt like it was more interactive than I was when I was taking on the ground classes because you could send an email and you'd get a response back within an hour. And one of the great things about Marist is that they, they had an open forum. I was able to think more clearly about what I was going to respond to a question or what kind of comment I was going to make. The, the breadth 
and scope of um, the interaction was probably one of the most unexpected experiences. The skill sets of managing information and managing knowledge and working with other people online are great. In all of these programs, we are requiring you to manage what are the real workplace realities of today. Most organizations have virtual teams. They're all over the country. They're multiple different cultures. They require the use of various kinds of technologies. And we're actually providing training for these future leaders to use technology in a way that enables them to accomplish things that they wouldn't have been able to perhaps accomplish otherwise. I had a, uh, a lady who was from China. So we had this huge team project. And so it was like, okay, you know, you couldn't just schedule a, uh, a phone conference at eight o'clock. You know, you had to be like, okay, well, what time is it in China? I'm a team leader for new cancer drugs. My team is spread throughout the world. So I'm typically working in a virtual fashion. Just the other day, I was working on a project with our UK-based affiliate and haven't seen the other person, never met him, uh, know his kids, know all the details, and it's purely through uh, phone and email. And I probably wouldn't have those skills if I hadn't learned to operate in a group scenario at Marist in the online experience. We were the first MBA program to become accredited through AACSB with a full online degree. And we had to really prove to them that you had an equivalent experience online as you would if you took the course on the ground. They're the same roles. You're online or you're on the ground. You still have to meet the same rigorous requirements. First and foremost, on the online program, I had to make sure that they were certified. An employer doesn't just look for your degree, but also looks for where did you go to school? My Marist degree definitely carries a lot of weight to it. The companies that I interviewed for were definitely impressed with the fact that, you know, I had a great degree and I was able to complete it during my active duty time. Someday down the line, I want to become the CEO of a biotech. I'd like to take uh, new cancer drugs, I'd like to develop them uh, for patients and my Marist MBA uh, is going to help me uh, to be able to do that. Everyone in finance wants to someday be Chief Financial Officer CFO, and that's obviously one of my career goals as well. And along the way, the learnings you get in earning your MBA, you can apply in everyday life. What I have learned from my experience in the course, I've actually been able to apply I was fortunate enough I got a position working for Accenture and I'm working for the Accenture National Security Services Division and that's in the government sector so I was able to transition my security clearance and then a lot of my master's degree contributed to me getting the job and I'm working in a human capital management role. For someone who had uh you know, been away from school for many, many years. In the final analysis, I felt rejuvenated. It's not just a box to check. It's not just, you know, drive up and get your degree. You're really getting something out of it. At, you know, the end of the semester, at the end of the class, you really walk away and say, yeah, I'm glad You're I took that. You're evaluating your life. Suspend what you think online really is and, and just experience it. <laughs>